Good day everyone, this is Teacher Wang, Senior High School Mathematics Teacher. I created this video upon the request of my student to upload video regarding the topics that they find difficult to understand. Today, I'm going to share with you how to find the least common multiple of algebraic expression. Let's begin! Before we proceed, let us recall first how to find the LCM or the least common multiple of integers. Say we have here 18 and 27. The first step is to write 18 and 27 in factored form. So we have here now 18, 27. 18 is equal to 3 times 3 times 2. 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. So after you factor each number, Find out if there are common factors. Here, we have common 3 and another common 3. So, write down the common factors and then copy the remaining factors of each number. So, we have here now 2 or you can write it, 3, 2. So, after that, you can now multiply these numbers. So, 3 times 3 times 3 times 2 is equal to 54. So, the LCM of 18 and 27 is 54. Let us take different examples, same monomials. For example, we have 2x squared y and 6xy squared. To find the LCM, all we need to do is to follow the steps on the previous example. By finding factorization, 2x squared y is equal to the product of 2 x, x, and y. 6x squared on the other hand is equal to 3 times 2 times x times y times y. Okay, find out if there are common factors. Here we have 2x and y. Then, list down uh, list down the common factors as well as the remaining factors of each number. So we have 3, 2, x, x, y, and y. Find their product to find the LCM. So here we have 3 times 2 times x times x times y times y is equal to 6x squared y squared. To make your solution simple, just find the LCM of the numerical coefficient and copy the variables with the highest exponent. And of course, you have to multiply the result. So for example, we have 10 and 15. By prime factorization, 10 is equal to 5 times 2. 15 on the other hand is equal to 5 times 3. So here, we have common factor 5, then copy the remaining factors. And then multiply the result. So 5 times 3 times 2 is equal to 30. The LCM of the numerical coefficient is 30. And then now, all you need to do is to copy the variable with the highest exponent. So here in x, x squared in 10x squared y to the 4 has highest exponent. So that is the LCM. On y, on the other hand, you need to copy y to the fourth power since it has the highest exponent. And then since 10x squared y to the fourth power has no z, you have to copy z to the fourth on the second expression. So we have c to the fourth. So this is the LCM of the second example. Let us try another example. Say we have polynomials having two or more terms. Here we have x squared plus 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 2. To find the LCM, all we need to do is to factor each polynomial if they are factorable. x squared plus 2x minus 3 is factorable and its factors are x minus 1 and x plus 3. 2x minus 2 is also factorable and its factors are 2 and x minus 1. Like the previous examples, all we need to do is to find out if there is common factor or if there are common factors on what given. Here we have x minus 1. 
to remain now copy x minus 1 as well as the remaining factors and find its product. Here, we have 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 3. And this is the least common multiple of x squared plus 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 2. What if polynomials has no common factors, like this example? Here we have 2x plus 3 and x minus 1, and we all know that they are both prime. If there are no common factors in the given expression, so say the expressions are not factorable, all you need to do is to find their product. Thus, in this example, the least common multiple is the product of 2x plus 3 and x minus 1. I hope this video lesson helped you understand how to find the least common multiple of polynomials. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.